Hey guys, welcome back to another up crate. And I think the postman got excited because mm, it looked like the tape hadn't gone down anyway. No, it looks like he's trying to open it. Like, everything is still safe and secure in there. So we're going to open it up and see what's in this bad boy this month. Oi, oi, meaty. What have we got? Ooh, ooh, this is intriguing. Wow, okay. Right, let's just pop everything out of the box and we'll pop the box over there and yeah. then let's have a look I'm gonna leave this private stuff here okay um well let's have a look I'm not gonna have a look at the supplies so this is the upgrade battle sticker try and get it in between the ring light there and this is the artist sticker so the artist is Nicola Kir oh my goodness oh, shall we try that again Nika Larkina I think sorry for the terrible pronunciation and excuse the state of my voice I'm getting over a cold okay what have we got in here oh, oh my god okay okay I'm a little bit excited what are we going to start with, young lady? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have abstract, matte, soft body acrylic. And what colour is that? It is... 116 Blanco de Titanium White. So we've got Titanium White. <laughs> it is good, isn't it? For all those ASMR people out there. And what colour do we have here? Chinese blue? Chinese blue. My favourite colour is blue. I'm looking forward to this. I'm really intrigued. Okay, so we've got two, um, they're actually really good sized packets as well. 60ml soft body acrylic. What have we got there? It is melting paint. Is that what it is? Or lining paint maybe? What does it say on the Press barrel? It's 3D liner. 3D liner. So does that mean it dries? So it's heavy body. Ah, because it's heavy body, it dries. That's nice because you get this really nice small end. So you can control where it goes. So I'm looking forward to trying that. And then we got three paintbrushes. Three? What have we got number wise there? Looks like a two. The small <clears throat> We've got a four, we've got a two, no, a four, a zero, and a three zero. So they're really, really lovely. I'm not, won't get them out of the packet at the minute, but they're really lovely paint brushes. So what is that? It's a mini postcard. Postcard. Yeah. It's all in German. Two, six, zero, four. This type of pencil. Ooh, what's that? Is that Cohen Noir again? Cohen Noir, hard Hardmouth. And it's a B pencil. 1580. Yeah, so it's a graphite pencil. So what's what's oh, in here? The mini art bowl. Oh my god, look at these! They're plastic talons, which normally make baking stuff. That is so cool. Little travel bowls, they stack into each other um, and then you put the lid on. How cool is that? I guess we've got a canvas, a board canvas to paint on because there was another canvas which I'm just going to check now and see what that is. So let's put that to one side. My little helper has disappeared for the day. Okay, so this is obviously the up crate version and it's like board if you can see there in the middle so it's like a ply board really really nice painting board so I'm really looking forward to thinking of something to do on this okay so the paints that we have through the abstract by Senet Sennelier I can't talk today Sennelier abstract innovative acrylic I have used them before I have got them and they're really really good quality the metallics are really really lovely um, and these are the colours that they have available if you wanted to know what others. And they are 100% cadmium free. So these are the liners. So I'm really intrigued about using this. 
I guess I would use it afterwards to create like a 3D border around the outside. Um, but the colours that they've given you, I really like. So you, you've got the blue and you've got the pink so you can make the purple. And then you've got the white to be able to lighten any of those to give you even a monochromatic design. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So that's that one. That's the artwork that came and it is absolutely amazing. I love her baseball there and her hoodie. That one is definitely going up on the wall in the office. So that's their Instagram handle if you wanna go and check them out. This month we have prepared a special painting media for you. This is F oh, FSC certified natural birch wood with a thickness of three millimeters. Um, and that is the favorite medium of our co-captain Nika. So the set of three contains round dishes. So that's the little round dishes. And then I can paint on this little postcard and send it off to somebody. How cool is that? So the art space three piece set brushes look really, really lovely. So I'm looking forward to using them. So I guess thinking cap on and see what we can come up with. But I'm really, really excited to give this box a go. So well done again, Upgrade. So first of all, I realized I forgot to put the prompt and the prompt was Beauty in Chaos. And originally I was like, well, I really don't know what to do. And then all of a sudden I had this epiphany that I knew that I wanted to do this sort of cityscape that was going on. So because I was limited on color, I couldn't get it quite as dark as I wanted it to, but I wanted this feeling of during the day you've got this chaotic city or town where lots of things go on and it's really hustly and bustly and then at night you get that when the the sun's going down and you get to see the silhouette and the calm on the water and you just have this beautiful serene scene going on but you know still within all of that that there is some chaos happening and especially with everything that's going on in the world today you know everything can look quite like a duck on water you know everything on top is really smooth and looks beautiful and then you look underneath and then their little feet are going 10 to the dozen and that's sort of what I had in my head when I was doing this design and I would have preferred to have been able to go a bit darker but I didn't want to bring any or too many materials in that weren't in the box overall the board was actually quite a joy to paint on i actually really enjoyed that but i wasn't sure whether or not i should be priming it and i didn't really read any hints or tips i just sort of went gun ho and got on with it really but i'm pretty sure had i done a maybe a couple of coats of the white uh, acrylic paint that maybe i might have got a bit more of a brighter color maybe a more saturated colour from the paints that I was using. But because I went straight onto the board, obviously the first coat tended to soak into the board. It wasn't actually too bad, but it did soak into the board. But the quality of the paints and the colour pigments were actually really, really pretty and really lovely to use. I know I normally swatch at the beginning of these videos as well, but um, with being poorly and Emily leaving pretty prom prompto, it sort of um, kicked me out of my stride. So I did swatch it, but you didn't see that bit. So I sort of had a bit of a practice each time I wanted to do something on the little postcard version. So if I do want to end up painting on that board, I can just paint over the whole thing um, with a white or whatever color I want to, and then just do another image on top. So it didn't go to waste, but I did test these out just to see what they were like, which is why I sort of opted for partly not putting a white down, but in hindsight i do wish i had i think it would have made the blend actually a bit nicer as well um, between the pink and the blue it looks quite red i think but actually it's more of a cerisi pink but it was really really fun to have a play with a different medium and i just thought this idea of having this chaotic you know in in this city but the beauty of all the colors and the sunset and the silhouettes just worked really really well for this month's prompt um, so I'm quite looking forward to seeing what's going to happen with the scrawler box prompt because that one is next and I do apologize as I say I'm not going to turn into an unboxing channel I promise but there is an awful lot going on in the background and I am intending on readjusting my entire den to try and fit in with the new business needs um, with the stickers and things that I've been launching so watch this space because I will vlog 
the complete change because it will be a complete change but if you have ever thought about the uh, upgrades and this is the first video you've seen of mine it's worth having a look at the previous ones uh, I've covered probably five to six of them now and very rarely have, have I been disappointed and and most of the time the value is actually very very good for what you're getting in your box on this one um, as I say I wish I could have maybe gone a little bit darker even when I mixed the two together it wasn't quite as dark as I would like to have got it and of course I can only go so dark with the pigments that I have so what I tried to do then is maybe just pick out the lighters of them and just sort of get the lighter tones on there so the darks could be pushed back a little bit more um, but I mean the thing is about these boxes is they are giving you products as a tester you know they're, they're making you stretch yourself to try mediums that you wouldn't necessarily or ordinarily try as an artist and acrylic is one of my favorite mediums but i don't use it very often so i do enjoy it when it comes in a box because it means that i then push myself a bit further have a go and maybe challenge myself to something that is a bit more unusual i wanted to use a bit more of what was in the box so i watered down the white acrylic to just make a few stars on the top and then near the end I decided that I was actually going to try and line them with the pencil just because I felt it needed just a tiny touch more detail. I'm glad I did because overall it did work out okay. Uh, it certainly didn't look a mess and I'm quite happy overall with the outcome. I think with limited colour palette I really enjoyed the process and yeah pretty happy with it. Let me know what you think in the comments below but Thank you very much for watching if you have enjoyed it please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell button to be notified for all and i go live near enough every wednesday but stay safe have a good morning afternoon evening whichever it may be and i shall see you guys in the next video bye